Hello, I hope that you're having a really good morning. Uh, I wanna make a little tapping video for you. And today I feel that I should do this for pet owners who have animals who are having behavioral issues. We as the pet owner become very frustrated sometimes when our animals are not cooperating. And, you know, we can become discouraged, we can become frustrated, and it can bring up some challenges with our relationship with our pet. So, a lot of times when our animals are displaying behavioral issues, it's usually something within us that's going on. So tapping on us, on the human, is very, very helpful. So this morning, uh, we, we're not facing too big of a challenge, just sometimes he pops off for no reason. And uh, so that's what prompted me to do some tapping because I'm feeling frustrated this morning. Uh, I'm also feeling frustrated with my health this morning. Something I usually don't talk about. I try to hide when I don't feel good. Uh, and over the past week, I have not felt good. I went for some acupuncture and I feel like it was just a little too much for me. I am uber sensitive to energy and um, I really have not felt right since. Um, I'm sure it's, you know, like in massage therapy and when you're massaging somebody and they have an area that is really knotted up, uh, we call that a beehive. And when you get into that beehive, sometimes you're stirring up things and making it a little worse before it gets better. And I'm sure that's what's going on with me right now. And I'm tough, I can handle it, but I am irritated by it. And I'm sure that's what's causing him to be barking his head off this morning for no apparent reason. So with all of that being said, uh, I would like to do some tapping around frustration, basically, because I know we all feel it when our animals are acting up. So if you're not familiar with tapping, we're going to be tapping on different meridians in the body. I will call out the points. You just follow along. I will also say a callback response. If the words do not resonate with you, please feel free to change them. It will all be just as effective. And also, if you miss a point, don't worry about it. It's all gonna work out. So let's start off by taking some deep breaths in Making sure you're breathing in through the nose. And out through your mouth. Taking another deep breath in. Trying to let go of any of that frustration that you can, but tune into it at the same time. And give it a number from one to 10 to see where you're at exactly today with it. Now we'll begin tapping 
on the karate chop point, which is right here on the outside of the hand. Even though I get so frustrated with my animal. I mean, they just don't even listen to me. It's so frustrating. And nobody gets it. I honor the choices I've made. And I love and accept myself. Even though it's so maddening. Like, why can't we just fix this issue already? I'm so over it. I'm so frustrated. But boy, do I love my animal just the same. And I honor the choices that we are making. Even though I can get really pissed off sometimes because they just don't listen. Or maybe they're peeing all over the house. And that's really frustrating. I still love that animal so much. And I honor the choices I'm making to try to fix this problem. Inside the eye. It is so frustrating. Outside the eye. All this animal does is bark and pee and oh my God, they just don't listen under the eye. It's so frustrating. Under the nose. I know I could be closer to this animal. Chin. But I'm just so frustrated with them. Collarbone. And it makes me sad. Under the arm. It makes me really sad. Thumb. I mean, I'm frustrated too. Pointy finger. But really, I'm really, really sad. Middle finger. I'm also kind of disappointed. Outside the ring finger. I mean, this animal's supposed to move in and everything's supposed to be fine. Inside the pinky finger. Shouldn't have to deal with this. Top of the head. It's bullshit! Inside the eye. Why can't I get this behavior under control? Outside the eye. I feel like I have tried everything under the eye and nothing's working. Under the nose. What am I supposed to do? Chin. This is so frustrating. Collarbone. And it's so disappointing. Under the arm. I thought that we'd be so connected we wouldn't have issues like this. Thumb. But maybe we're more connected than I think. Pointy finger. Maybe 
some of this is because of my frustration. Middle finger. Maybe I'm having some anxiety that this animal's picking up on. Outside the ring finger. Things have been a little stressful lately. Inside the pinky finger. It's not like my animal has any friends to play with. Top of the head. I've tried, but I really don't have a lot of time for that. Inside the eye. I've just been so stressed out. Outside the eye. So overwhelmed. Under the eye. So frustrated. Under the nose. And I'm not even really that frustrated with my pet. Chin. I really think I'm more frustrated with life. Collarbone. Maybe my animal's picking up on that. Under the arm. So I'm gonna try a little harder every day to get grounded. Thumb. I know this stress isn't good for me. Pointy finger. And this stress is not good for my animals. Middle finger. I'm gonna breathe. And I'm gonna stop being so hard on myself. Outside the ring finger. My animal doesn't have to be perfect. Inside the pinky finger. My animal's perfect to me. Top of the head. I mean, I'm probably just getting frustrated because of society. Inside the eye. Nobody likes to be judged because of their animal. Outside the eye. Nobody really likes to be judged at all. Under the eye. But that shouldn't matter. Under the nose. What matters is our love. Chin. And I love this animal so much. Collarbone. So I'm gonna look at me. Under the arm. Because maybe I'm part of the issue. Thumb. Let's just take a few deep breaths in right here. Keep tapping on that thumb. Moving to the pointy finger. It feels so much better when I let go of what other people think. Middle finger. They don't really matter. Outside the ring finger. I'm gonna take a little more time for self-care. Pinky finger. And I'm gonna stop and breathe when my animal starts acting up. Top of the head. And I'm gonna ground myself and get calm. Inside the eye. 
because I know my frustration does not help the situation. Outside the eye. And I don't want to be frustrated. Under the eye. So I'm going to fully love my animal. Under the nose. And I'm gonna remind myself to remain calm. Chin. And I'm gonna remind myself to look at what's going on in my life when my animal is acting up. Collarbone. And we're gonna have a peaceful life. Under the arm. Full of love and happiness. Now take a couple deep breaths in and see where you're at on that scale of one to 10 now. Hopefully you feel a little better. I do. I feel like I was a little escalated when I started and I feel much better. And so I can get some things done today. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you. Take care of yourself. Don't forget about your self care because you need to be taking care of yourself or else our animals, we're not doing them any justice, right? So I love you. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.